we are at Bagrichi Reservoir Park and we are here today to actually visit with some neighbours that lives just right beside us. Stay tuned for more. Like I said earlier, we are actually at Bagrichi Reservoir Park and in this pristine forest, in this place here, with this big reservoir that you see in front of us, there is a family. What type of family you ask? Well, in this forest here, there is a family that actually lives just right beside us and they live in this forest and they are actually the macabre monkeys long-tailed macabre monkeys that makes Macritchie their home and if you come here this resting area here and mostly around this area here they actually hang around this area here and you get a rare opportunity for you to actually interact discreetly with them and observe their behavior which you don't get to do this other places it's very rare that you get to do this in anywhere actually so let's get to it like i said i'm actually at the resting area here and look at that these are actually the monkeys itself the macabre monkeys the long-tailed macabre monkeys and what are they doing? It may look like fighting, but this is how they socialize. This uh, rough play is one of their one of the ways that they actually socialize with each other. They they don't actually uh, bite or hit or hurt each other, but they do play it a, a bit rough, but in a loving manner, I guess. You know, uh, where how you're in a family and this is how you play. You see, even though they bite, but they don't really bite hard, you know, just um, for play, I guess. Maybe the most popular or more recognizable macabre monkeys are those that you see in Japan. Those monkeys that actually sit in the hot spring. Yeah, they're actually a species related to this species. So basically, um, what you, should, you need to do is, when you see the monkeys, try your best, your most not to interact with them. Okay, just stay at a distance and observe them. Okay, and then you will realize certain things about the monkeys, that they actually have a, a social world that these monkeys live in that is similar and different from how we live our life. They also have a very complex social network. And in some ways, it actually mirrors uh, our society itself. So these are one of the, some of the families of monkeys that actually lives in this area here. But there are also other populations around the islands, some at uh, Bukit Batok Nature Reef Park, which I actually accounted that family itself. I will put the video of that towards the end, so you can actually uh, see that video itself. They also have uh, other populations or at Yishun Park, Admiralty Park, as well as the Sister Islands and Pulau Ubin. The Singapore long-tailed macabre is actually a unique population. It is smaller in size, it has a different facial features and a larger tail body ratio than others found in the neighboring region like uh, Southern Indochina, Burma, Western Indonesia and the Philippines. The long-tailed macabre has a fascinating ecology. Its behavior 
is interesting and almost human-like, which is sometimes a reflection of our own sociality. In Singapore, it plays a crucial role in dispersing seeds in our remaining nature reserves, filling the shoes of many native birds and large animals that have gone extinct. Being highly intelligent, wild long-tailed macabres can use different stone tools to aid in their foraging. Long-tailed macabres sometimes live in close proximity to human populations due to their highly adapt adaptable nature. However, some people perceive them to as nuisance animals and dustbin raiders and would like them to be trapped and removed from their area. A more constructive approach towards macabres would be to remember that they are wild animals, not pests. Uh, with this in mind, we should act appropriately to avert conflicts. Luckily for Singapore, the human macabre conflict is not as severe as in other parts of the world, where these monkeys uh, also live close to humans. As a prominent species of Singapore's native biodiversity, monkeys are an important part of Singapore's natural heritage and should be recognized as such. It's actually a privilege for you to actually observe them in the wild. So just remember to keep a distance when you're observing them. Don't feed them or provoke them. Don't encourage them to approach you by displaying food items or plastic bags. If you, uh, if you observe them closely, you may actually observe, you may be rewarded with a display of their innovative behaviours. And now we are able to actually observe a, the monkey members actually uh, grooming each other. As you can see, uh, they actually take turns to actually groom each other to pick at their fur to look for maybe like lice and insects and any, any kind of uh, pests that are growing on them. And this is how they actually socialize and interact with each other lovingly. Look at that. It's such a very familiar thing, you know, where, the, uh, where they actually take care of each other and taking care of their butt. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The older one pet the backside. Okay, your, your backside is clean. Yeah. And then now it's his turn. And it's like an old, like a old man where you just lie down and then all the young people starts to groom him. Uh, just like how a grandfather would do in a family. Asking, hey grandson, grandson, give me a massage. And, of course, <laughs> everyone loves shed bikes, even macabre monkeys. Just that I do not know where... Where the where the macabre monkey keeps his handphone to scan the IR code. Now we are actually at uh, Bukit Batok Nature Reserve, and this was actually taken uh, uh, much much earlier, maybe uh, two years earlier, and. As you can see, this is another family of macabre long-tailed monkeys. Long-tailed macabre. And they actually came down from the Bukit Batok Hill itself. You know, and they were actually attracted by the bright colours you know, and the, with all the kids. <laughs> this is the... This is what happens when, uh, you know... Nature and human interact with each other. I guess this is just how kids react. Luckily, uh, there was no food being displayed. But, you know, I guess that's what the monkeys came down for. To look for food. This is a very interesting... Um, 
interaction between human and macabre. I guess, you know, even macabres don't like to be rejected. Look at that. Poor thing. No. I just came down here and everyone just left me. Look at that. There's a smaller uh, macabre monkey in the tree there. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for this interesting video. It was all about monkeys. Long-tailed macaque monkeys. A natural resource, a natural wonder that you don't get to see often unless you go to the nat nature reserves or to the more, nature, more foresty areas where these monkeys live. So I hope you enjoyed it. And what I need you to do now is to, as per usual, if you have not done so, like, share and subscribe. And the most important thing, don't forget to join me for my next adventure. Bye-bye.